So, yeah, this is a completely different video, this one, isn't it? It's all about how taking on the 100 heads challenge, for me personally, just didn't work. And, and the reasons why, what positives came from it, what negatives came from it, and why I've decided not really to take up challenges like that again, as they just didn't work out for me. <laughs> So first of all, I started with um, creating uh, with a colour pencil and um, I stuck with one um, colour pencil, shading at first and then moved to two, that sort of thing. Tonally, that worked on a positive basis for me. I could see that that was actually working in terms of creating the sketches of portraits that was slowly improving. I quickly noted that I was just not advanced enough with colour pencils and I thought I could utilise this as a, as a sort of learning process to, to try and learn how to blend whilst doing these portraits and that was just not a good move. Not in my mind space anyway whilst trying to complete a challenge. I found that I was just spending far too much time doing things. I moved back to graphite. Um, and when I moved back to graphite that tended to work better I've worked more with pencil that's where I started and tonally that was great the portraits were slowly improving but I found myself really just slowly but surely enjoying it all less and less so the reason I think for that is just purely because I've got time constraints I can only do so much and four a day was about the most that I was achieving, sometimes three, and then I'd start to slip a day or two days. And I really wasn't getting anywhere. Now, I never thought for a moment that I was going to do 10 a day and get it wiped off in 10 days. That was never going to be me. Um, but, but what I did expect is that I would excitedly continue through the process and get better and better until I got to the end. And it just did not work out like that. In fact, the reality of what happened for me is that I got less and less interested in sitting down and creating art, which is just not what that challenge was supposed to be for me. So the positives, I was creating better portraits. I wasn't doing them any faster, I don't think. I was doing it without thinking so much. I was sort of going ahead and um, being able to create I wasn't even at some points utilizing the Loomis method. Um, I was never using grid method, uh, method at all, just, just the Loomis method at the start. Um, but yeah, I sort of started to start around uh, the lower part of the temple and, and around the eye. And then I could quite happily sort of make those portraits where probably I couldn't do that before, not as naturally anyway. Um, so they say that you learn by doing and that's all positive. So the negatives were, I lost um, all of my zest towards doing it and I just decided, I think I got to portrait 21 or 22 and, and I just decided this is not for me. I um, I ended up taking a week off at that point and, and then I ended up sort of probably about a week and a half actually of just not creating any art which is pretty unheard of since January this year. I've been doing things most days, occasionally having a day off but most days. And, uh, and yeah, it was all down to the fact that it just destroyed my enjoyment of it. So I have decided to leave that alone. And that's what this video is about. I'm hoping that you can see that there is an improvement in the portraits that I did do. But the fact that I did them and I felt pressure whilst doing them, and this could be something that's just personal to me, means that it's just not something that I want to pursue in the future. To pursue things that will improve what I'm doing, I think will be more like just chasing what I'm interested in at that moment until I slowly find where my art should be and where it sits happily. So I, I ended up doing other drawings and those other drawings that I took out were nothing to do with portraits. I drew this uh, this tree with alcohol markers and really enjoyed doing it, you know, because it was just a step away from what I'd been forcing myself into. 
And then I, I think I, I did a, um, a little ink sketch of a, of a clock tower that's close to where I live. I think I did um, a couple of other sketches. Oh, and I pulled out some watercolours. And to my amazement, even though I did this in a, in a Moleskine book, which isn't made for that at all, and it did cause warping of the paper, it really didn't make any difference. It was the enjoyment and the experience of doing it. Something that I've been really enjoying is just seeing parts of nature and wanting to draw them. Trees especially is one, and, and birds, and that type of um, nature as well, is another. Landscapes is something that I think I'd like to try and pursue a little bit a bit of ink wash that sort of thing um yeah and i do think that i should just be enjoying the journey and by enjoying the journey it means that i'll produce videos without too much effort um and and you know the art has to come first and i want to document it and i want to you know build a little bit of a community along other people that want to do the same thing as well so trying to strike that balance without making things too difficult is definitely which, uh, sorry, definitely the direction that I want to go in. And if that direction's too difficult, I've noticed that I just don't find the time for it or I put myself off from doing it. So the simplicity of what I need to do going forward, I hate that word, I use it a lot, don't I? I'm going to stop doing that. But the simplicity of what I'm doing has to be key to my consistency of continuing to do it. And I'm not going to go into what that's going to be because I think on this channel I've probably said three or four times what my intent is going to be. I stated an intent for live streams at one point and I couldn't consistently carry that on. And, you know, that's so I, I don't want to sort of make promises about what I'm going to do. It would be pointless. But whatever I do, it will be more simplistic. It's going to be completely genuine. And it's going to hold less on the video editing side and complexity side. And more on the, I've come out today and I'm going to create this art. And I thought I'd bring you along with it. And these are the media types that I'm going to use and the paper I'm using. And you know, this is what I'm going to create and then just a video that shows the creation process of what I go through and then and what I end up with. Um, because to do something like that will be far, far more organic, hopefully, for, for you guys to watch. But at the same time, it will be far more organic for me to want to create, mildly edit to make it hopefully still interesting and take away some of the, the waffle and the uh, rubbish that's um, you know in there but not too heavily edited and full of transitions and everything else that it takes me hours and hours to do so with that I'm going to end the video I hope you enjoyed the pictures um, and the art that I have drawn and at least understand in some way the reasons why this challenge just was not for me. And I haven't seen this, by the way. Um, and maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe there's loads of YouTube channels that have stated this, but Meds 100 Heads was the, was the uh, channel, challenge, by the way, that I took on. And all I could see was people that, even if they didn't achieve it in 10 days, did achieve it in the end. And, you know, their art is great. It's, it's really good and they talk about um, how they felt real achievement from it at the end and I don't want to detract from that. I think that that's absolutely fantastic. For them it really worked and it's just that for me it didn't. So yeah, I'm going to sign off now with a, with a fail and, and a learnt lesson. So maybe the learnt lesson is actually, uh, what is it entrepreneurs say? that you have to fail a number of times before you find success or fail is just an opportunity to learn, something like that. Um, I'm hoping that that's definitely the case for me and that I'm actually going to follow the path within art that perhaps my inspiration takes me and not just because I've stated I'm going to do something. Um, and with that, I will sign off and I'll see you 
on the next video. Bye for now guys. Thanks for watching.